Now, the outgoing uh, Kosatu president, Stumot Lamini, has uh, painted a dire picture of the federation in the last 10 years. It's lost a staggering membership of 400,000. This was compounded by Kosatu's intense leadership squabbles, which led to the dis dismissal of NUMSA from the federation in 2015. In an exclusive interview with the SABC, uh, Dlamini said that the expulsion of NUMSA will be recorded as the most turbulent moment in the history of Kosatu. Dumot Lamini served at the helm of Kosatu for 12 years. As the Worker Federation goes into the 13th Congress next week, the internal conflicts which led to the dismissal of Zelenzi Mavavi and NUMSA will haunt Kosatu for years to come. Tlamini confesses that this federation took a serious down spiral and is now on survival mode. We uh, ended up with a situation in 2014 where uh, uh, the CC had to take the decision which was endorsed by Congress in 2015 to let go of uh, NUMSA. A very, very uh, 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 difficult decision that was taken by the organization. So it affected Kosatu. It affected the, the strength of the, the Federation once more. He indicated that Kosatu dropped the ball when it got entangled in the ANC factional politics while neglecting focus on labor issues. Kosatu must always look back and say how best could we interact politically, uh, particularly when the ANC uh, is, is having some fever and how much can we catch out of that and it does not take us away from our objectives as the federation that issue uh, it's, 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 it's a matter that was a reality we uh, got ourselves involved he advised Kosatu's incoming leadership to guard against being swamped in the politics of the ruling party and rather place the interests of the membership at the center. Currently, the Labour Federation is at odds with the ANC on VAT increase and possible retrenchment of public servants. Muntlengani Dipoko, SABC News, Johannesburg. Yesterday, the African National Congress in the Western Cape launched what it calls a class action.